Very good. I want you to give that to your fastest writer. Catch up to the people who just passed here before. Tell them uh, to tell the people back in Baclavia that we need reinforcements. I want them to double the number of soldiers that are coming through here as soon as possible, and then send as many people as they can soon afterwards. It's like, uh, okay, sir, certainly. Very good. What's going on? We've got trouble. That's what's going on. Okay. So, yeah, I like yeah. So uh, let's make our way as quickly as we possibly can to Gateway, and uh, then we'll try and settle up Hamilton to, to do, make sure everything's okay there. Excellent. Okay. So uh, you're going to do for the rest of the day. Okay. Very good. So. Uh, what? what? Excellent. Every, yeah, and I think everybody mopes spectacularly. Look a little forlorn. <laughs> Very difficult for you to mope uh, with occasional light blinking in your eye. So, uh, uh. <laughs> I, I'm so depressed I just started gorging myself on rations. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. And then you're like, yeah, you know, I, I can eat so much. Now the police are not here, I can eat twice as much. No! <laughs> Uh, the day passes once again without incident. Uh, the next morning, um, I want to do a short meditation. Um, mm -hmm. d um, just think of, uh, I don't know, lis listen to, what, to whatever's out there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Excellent. I'm going to keep doing that. You're going to meditate in the morning, are you? Okay, sure. Uh, anybody else want to be ready? <laughs> no, there was. This is what I'm thinking. I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's, this was to be expected. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> this is well, far from me now. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. While he's doing his meditation, I'm just going to do a con. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So the, uh, it's a somber party that reads the next day. So uh, the next day, which is a shame, because the next day is bright, beautiful, sunny, almost summer-like weather. The sky is clear. Gary, you know everything is beautiful. <laughs> the only thing that's uh, the only thing that's uh, slightly odd is that the foliage is becoming different. Right? Uh, I mean, you're normally used to uh, you know whatever you know coniferous trees and you know very similar things. Now the, the leaves here are becoming much leafier. Or, you know, uh, broader, you know, type of thing. You, know, you haven't seen any you know, trees like this before. Okay. No, this, this um, is far, far from the course from this far side. Yeah, this is, yeah, exactly. You've seen this before. No, 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 no. It's just the, whatever, the foliage changes. Whatever, right? Yeah, nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, so at the, that next day, uh, you actually uh, meet at, or meet up at uh, Gateway Greenland, right? Uh, it's a rather, uh, you know, large, bustling settlement. It looks like there's several hundred, maybe even a thousand people here. Mm -hmm. right. Is that it looks like what? Like, now this this is like way more than I've ever seen. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of the tribes, like the Macaulay tribe and all this rich other stuff, they've got maybe a hundred people in their tops. And even at the uh, very large you know, tribal gatherings and all this rich other stuff, you know, they never collect that many people in one place. I mean, you send representatives. So this this is a huge metropolis from your from your perspective, okay? And uh, you know it actually has uh, some you know pretty serious fortifications around it. So it's got you know uh, watchtowers, uh, walls, all this sort of stuff. Obviously uh, well patrolled. You are you are spotted, you know, and uh, you know escorted in, you know, well even before you get to Gateway. And uh, it's and you get you get the likelihood that the reason why it's called Gateway is because you know you look one side from Gateway and you look upward at the Upper Zingari lands and it's all just you know grasslands and plains and you know, it's a, you know clear as far as I can see and then slopes <coughs> upwards towards the Fog Mountains and then you look the other way and it's this you know beginning of a lush greenery of all different types of you know forest and you know maybe even jungle you know, off in the distance type of thing right so it's the gateway from one world to the next. And uh, Greenland is the uh, the new colony of uh, Baclavia, so-called, because you take a look around and everything's green. Mm -hmm. right. There's all types of green that are over there. The forbidden green, that's correct. You don't go to the forbidden green. People die in the forbidden green. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But apparently these people go into it just fine. They don't have any problems. 
Well, I've heard that some will die anyway. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, when you arrive at, uh, you know, uh, Gateway, uh, Strict is immediately, you know, whisked off, uh, you know, to uh, talk to a bunch of different people, you know, doing all types of stuff. Uh, Barnaby and, Lewis? Uh, no, sorry, Barnaby is, I'm sorry, Barnaby is with you. So Barnaby does not go to Strict, right? Um, and uh, Jeremiah, instead, uh, is with you and says, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, Strict says that we should resupply and get everything that we need here. Uh, we're not going to be staying here. Normally, uh, we, you know, s uh, stay a, a night or two, you know, to rest up. Uh, we're actually going to be pressing longer as fast as we can to uh, Golden. Apparently, something's uh, lit a fire that restricts blood and he kills me to get there as quickly as possible. So, what the is this? this is, there's, there's so many people here. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a town. Are, are all these people always here? Yeah, they're always here. They live here. Yeah, yeah. that's what people do in towns. They live in a town. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, so where do you get the food? Uh, that's a good question. I, I would guess that uh, they probably either do some farming or they uh, get get food from the surrounding areas. And it, that, that is, is this normal for for, for, for people from, uh, from from the north to, to live in big gatherings like this? Yeah, that's pretty normal. You might find this hard to believe, but uh, some of the gatherings that we have are actually even larger than this total little place. <coughs> this this uh, this town. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes, yeah, yeah. Some of them have several thousand people. And you're just trying to conceive of that. <laughs> I'm like, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Are, are, are any of you guys from big towns? From big city? I'm Wait. from... Yeah. Yeah. I'm from Tilda. I mean, uh... Which is one of the biggest cities. It's, it's, it's a big city. city. Yeah. How, how, how many people live there? Mm -hmm. There's like tens of thousands of tens people. Tens and tens yeah. of thousands. Thousands, probably tens of thousands. Just, you just make sense of it. How do you know who you who to talk to? I mean, you, who you trust? You, you don't. Um, uh, I, I lived in my like, people drop in just like in our party. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, lived in my uh, my ninja academy for a couple of years, um, and there there's just uh, there are almost a thousand people in that area alone. It was a huge academy. And, um, you, you don't know all the people. You wouldn't believe how many people want to be ninjas. <laughs> wow. You know, you, you told us that this is a family curse, so they took you into training in your condition? Well, yes, because, uh, I'm, well, the front, the uh, guy, uh, Don Guidoni or whatever his name is, uh, he, he's a friend of my family, and he agreed to train me if it, if it would help help with my problem. Which for a while, it sounds like it was very kind. He's very good. I mean, if you didn't have the, the iron ninja discipline that you have right now, you'd be eating yourself silly. <laughs> so, uh, this is the opportunity for you guys to pick up any supplies that you might want. Anybody uh, aching for something? Everybody has money. money. Uh, <laughs> very good. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a master germ, so, so to, to, can I buy things here? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. where, where do I go to if I want to buy a cloak and a dagger? Mm -hmm. You would go to, uh, yeah. right, to, to the cloak and the dagger store. <laughs> go, it's called Spy vs. Spy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm totally confused. I'm like, wow, these yeah. people speak a weird tongue. In that city. <laughs> yes, that's that's yeah, that's strange. That's strange. Yeah, okay. Yeah, break it, break it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but uh, he'd be happy to take you around right to, uh, you know, purchase all the stuff you want. I'm, I'm, I'm going to gape shamelessly and mm -hmm. uh, ask, ask questions about everything. Excellent. What's, what's right. the, what, what is that? What's that weird card thing? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm an 18 year old female. I'm going to go shopping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you go, girl. Uh, you go. And I'm browsing and I, in the weapon shop, mm -hmm. um, and I, I see this katana. Oh, I could have had this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna buy it. You're gonna get a katana? I'm gonna get a katana. Holy frick! Okay. Do you have enough money for the katana? Yeah. I haven't spent any of uh, uh, the uh, hundred gold that I get from. from how much? How much gold we have? I have uh, sixty-two coins to myself, and then I uh, did some. Yeah, Yamaha Hasim still owes me a hundred. No, Yamaha Hasim does not owe you a hundred. 
that 60 gold is included in the 100 gold pieces that was already given to you. So you've already eaten away 40. I didn't eight. start with any gold. No, you did start with gold. You started with quite a bit of gold, actually. I think you started, I, I forget what end you start with, but it's something like 75 or something. Your bow costs a lot. Yeah, yeah. The bow is a big ticket item with a bunch of other things. Okay. Okay. Right. So whatever you have in your capture sheet written down is at the actual amount of gold you have. So uh, you went to get a katana! I'm just drooling on the side. That, well, obviously, you want, you want the katana so much that you're thinking about taking the martial meeting provisions. That's how much you think. Okay. Uh, how good is a katana? It die 10 plus 1. And it gets plus 1 to all the rolls because it's considered masterwork, even though it's not masterwork. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Die 10 plus 1? Yeah. Uh, it's a nice one, I'd say. It's what a pitiful one. And where did, and where did you find the katana? Uh, in the weapon store. No, no, no. Where did you find the katana that you're quoting these stats from? Oh, uh, in the online yes, I think. There's a few chains there. Very good. Thank you. But, no, I can't get shit. Woohoo! He has his hat. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, she explains it more people use it. Hmm? Why don't you say they're really rare and not, and it's an exotic proficiency? No, it's just martial agent. Oh, it's martial agent? Okay. So you have Asian to the martial agent. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, we don't have a katana listed anywhere here. It'd right? be in the Asian. Yeah. Well, that's a high possibility. The, um, in which case, the uh, the closest analog of the katana would probably be the long sword. Which or bastard sword. Uh, bastard sword is a um, an exotic proficiency. So if you wanted to, if you wanted the katana to be an exotic proficiency, then I'm perfectly happy no, with making an equivalent to a bastard sword. Hmm. Whatever, it's just one proficiency, right? Marshall Wheel, you're an example. Who cares? Who cares what it is? Right. Um, in, uh, but, uh, yeah, so uh, since I don't know what it is at this current juncture, you can carry culture to the shop, we're just going to say, you know, you, you can get a katana. Well, I'm not going to use it yet, so. I understand. Well, the reason why we, we care is because it's how much it's going to cost. Okay. So if it were a bastard sword, it's going to be 35 gold pieces. If it's a long sword, it's going to be 15 gold pieces. One five. So what do you want it to be? You, you can make the decision right here. Well, if you want it to be exotic, uh, then it'll be more expensive, but it'll be more, but, uh, well, and you'll have to take the exact version. Or if you want it to be- If I bought it as if it was a long sword, would it only have the long sword's damage? Yeah, would it, that's right, yes, it would only have long sword's damage. You can't, you can't beat the number. If, if, you want, if you want to kick ass up and go for the kick ass but, but make it better than the best button. Can I make it better than the best Can you make it better than the best one? Make, like, they make it cost 50. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't make it better than that. Online, it's online SRD, man. Mm -hmm. Die 10 plus 4. Okay, that's fine. So then what we could do, if, if that's the case, correct, is that uh, we can make it equivalent to a bastard sword right now. Uh, it'll cost like a bastard sword, it'll act like a bastard sword, not a shrimp shop. And then uh, once you can show me this fictitious you know, thing on the SRD online, then uh, we can you know, go back and readjust the statue or whatever we've done. Just because it's on the SRD online doesn't yeah. mean that it's in this town. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it also doesn't mean that it's in the game. We can't write it, but let alone anything sometimes. Like, I've actually said this numerous times to players, which is just because you see something somewhere in print somewhere doesn't mean that it actually exists in this game. So there's right. not a good chance it would be, what? as it said online, a die time I have no idea what it would be or what it would not be. But are there any weapons you that are blindsided me by trying to get a katana in this place, and I have no idea what the freaking katana would be? If I were going to say something, I would just say, look, it's like a longsword, and that's what it is. It's just the same as a longsword. What's a longsword? But if you want it, it's a D8 of damage, and it, it crits on a 19. Okay? A uh, bastard sword is a D10 of damage, and it crits on a 19. But that's exotic. That's an exotic one. Plus, right. using two hands, right? Uh, well, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it using a two hand martial or no? Uh, I don't know. There's something freaky with the with the bastard sword. I'm almost certain of it. Well, with the bastard sword, exotic. The, I mean, not many people have the Asian preference. I mean, the Asian's basically exotic because it's something. Yada yada yada. Make a decision. That's what we go with. If you don't make a decision, I'll make one right now. You make a Very good. It's the same as a long sword. You, it's 15 gold pieces. Mark our 15 gold pieces. It's one item, and it doesn't need any. Better than a D6? Should have went for the exotic. Hmm? Yeah, you should have went for the exotic. Yeah, I got things up. No, it's not too late. Um, you can still do it. Well, yeah. Uh, bastard sword. But you know, I appreciate you didn't go for exotic because then when you fall down, I can pick it up and use it. 
Right. A what? A bastard sword uh, is just so one handed. Mm -hmm. right. As an exotic. You know, I'm going for it. It's too late now. Is it too late? Too late now. Oh, you have to strike while the iron's hot. Okay, so good. you can't wield the bastard sword two handed. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. See, that's that's the old hand and a half sword. I don't know okay, what you're yeah. sure what you're thinking. Right. Alter those up. And uh, and sure, we can make a sword that could do that if you wanted to. Well, no, I'm not really worried since I like the weapon I have. Well, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> I like the weapon you have. I just yeah, can't pick it up. You're <laughs> 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 so you are. You really are gung ho over this flashing steel thing, aren't you? Yeah. Flashing steel. Flashing steel. Okay. So. Uh, the um, secret note. Excellent. See, where I am normal, rogue, I would be stealing stuff then. I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> Sorry? I wouldn't advise that. I mean, you think you're in so, service to but, me. But if I see it online, then it, it really is a well, die 10, then you'll change Fortunately, I'm honest. No. What I said, what I said was, we'll <laughs> look at the thing online and make a decision then. That's all popular. Right? See, that sadly, when you have past situations like this, you just have to make stuff up on the spot, and then you meant you were just after it. So it's Never just, surprise up the end button. Right. You're okay, very good. Yank check, yank check out of your butt. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, you buy a cloak and a dagger. Okay. okay. How much does that cost? Uh, You would think that you bring this to You would think that you would have a town in the shop, and then I'm already with all of the uh, ready to learn some skills. Could I take an exotic preferences? Perhaps go. Proficiency before I took a martial. No, I think that's what's just. And actually, you don't even have access to your proficiency without martial. That sounds good. That's what I mean. So, a cloak costs five silver pieces, and a dagger costs one gold piece. The real question is whether you can have the item. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask you about that. So hey, how do you think this is uh, a question? Yeah, somebody can just give us a one, uh, two. You're acting. You're totally disabled unless you change it. Does he need his uh, armor converted? I mean, his mic converted? Who needs his mic converted? No. You got gold pieces, silver pieces, and copper pieces. Perfect. Just making sure you're trying to use the same currency we do. You don't have anything? Yeah. Uh, That's because you're broke. I seem to don't know what to do. You have the money. So the 100 gold pieces I just got. No, the 100 gold pieces went to buy more armor. What? But we didn't want to change it. armor. Uh, no, you spent all of your money. I did? Yeah. Woo, okay. When you got all the stuff, you spent all of it. Right on. And in fact, you actually have the unique privilege.